Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Trina Tache. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave here today. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time that I post, baby. Okay? Okay. So, um, today is, as you can see by the title, Day in the Life as a Model. I have a casting call at 2 p.m. that I was invited to for a Nike commercial, Pepsi, and is it Levi? Oh, Gap. So that's what we're doing today in Miami. Uh, I'm just getting ready. I just did like a light on duty model make nothing crazy. I didn't put any liquid foundation, uh, pressed powder, concealer, and setting powder, a little bit of bronzer, nothing serious. And fill in my eyebrows. I didn't put any eyeshadow, and I'm about to just throw on some mascara, nothing crazy. I'm gonna keep it uh, natural. I'm gonna straighten my hair up and um, get dressed. So we can head out to go to this casting call. So I've never been to a actual casting call in person. So this is my first casting call. I, I really don't see my, I didn't never really see myself in that like world, but I guess I did, I, I did say that I wanted to do commercial modeling as well. So here we are. <laughs> it's crazy that I got the email. So we're gonna see what it's giving. Just um, finishing up my makeup. So we're gonna take it to the bathroom in a second. So. Um, I just wanted to come on here. I'm like, I might as well, um, I might as well vlog. I got it. I got my lace a little wet when I was washing my face, and now it messed it up. It, was, it looked so good yesterday. So we're gonna have to fix that up real quick. We got to fix her up. Yeah, I'm pretty much done with my makeup. I'm just gonna throw my jewelry and stuff on and then go to the bathroom and fix my hair. I don't know how I feel about this cast, y'all. I don't know. It's like they told me, they sent me the scripts um, to look over and see which, you know, just go over the scripts to see when, which ones I'm, you know, most comfortable with, I guess. So I was looking at the scripts for the past two days. Don't have to um, memorize it, which is, I mean, that's fine. The person that reached out to me said they wanted to be the one that discovered me um, and that I'll be meeting, you know, of course, the producers and stuff like that. So we're gonna see. I have a mirror right here, so that's why I'm standing right here. Sometimes I like to stand up and do my makeup. Just depends on the day. This mascara is from Marit. I actually have a Marit package downstairs that I need to go get. They sent me some of their new stuff but that's neither here nor there. My weekly vlog will be up tomorrow. By the time this come out, y'all would already have seen it. And if you haven't, make sure you go check it out. Why my camera wants to play games with me. Here it is. This mascara. This is just a eyebrow pencil, but I just was using the spoolie. I didn't fill my eyebrows in. See other day is gonna be Dossier. This is Killing Your Love, Don't Be Shy. It's also gone for a marshmallow, but it's the big. It's the dip for that. Okay, so let's do some hair. Let's get this head in order. I need to fix my part too, but I don't feel like doing all that. I'm just really dumb. Use the Infinity Pro by Kanye. Heat this baby up. I'm gonna put it at 419. Am I nervous? Kinda of not really. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I think I just want to see how it goes. Garnier Marvelous Hair Oil. And let's flat iron her. Let me get my comb. So I'm like put my hair in a bun or something. Like something pushed back so you know they can see my face. Just push it back behind my ear. I'm gonna use this little, I don't want my camera to die before I can show y'all. Cute little bun. And then I'm gonna just use this. This is what she will look like. Okay, y'all, so this is what I'm gonna wear, just these active um, shorts. It has like ribbed material in this 
um, bodysuit, but I'm not going to clip it. I'm going to wear it as a shirt, like just like a regular shirt. Um, this is from Zara. These are from Amazon. It's linked in my storefront as well. And then I'm probably going to throw my New Balances or my Don'ts, one of the two. But I did my bun. I'm about to just get dressed real quick, so let's do that. Hey y'all, okay, so I'm out of the casting call. Actually, really better than what I expected. I'm in the bathroom because I had to eat, y'all. No. I had to pee while I was doing my audition. Let's just say, I could have been more relaxed, but it's totally fine. It went really good. I'll tell y'all about it. There's music in the background. I'm about to wash my hands and freshen up real quick, and then I'll chop it up with y'all when I get home. Okay, y'all. I'm at Chipotle. It's about that time. I didn't eat nothing all day. For real, it's really sad. Um, yeah, y'all. I'm about to get some food. I'm so hungry. But um, once I get my food and stuff, I'll be able to sit down with y'all when I get home and we'll talk about how the audition went and all that good stuff. And yeah, it's a beautiful day. Like today's a really good. It looked kind of like a late today. Miami's looking like a late today. Like seriously. Hey y'all. Your girl is back at home. It is 4 38. It's about to be 5 o'clock. I just ate Chipotle and it was so good. Just chat with y'all for a second just about how my audition went and then I'm gonna close this video out because it just was a day in the life video as a model, nothing crazy. But just a little recap. Um as y'all saw, it was um Multiple people there. Well, I don't know. Did y'all see the people that was there? <sighs> y'all can't see the amount of people that was there, but um, I want to say at least what 50 or better. Um, it was invite only, so it's kind of exclusive. Either way, it was a really great experience, something that I've never done before. Um, that's why I wanted to document it and show y'all and just give y'all an inside scoop of you know how the freelance model life kind of goes. Um, before I get signed to agencies. Um, it was an amazing experience. Definitely nerve wracking at first, but trying to keep my mind like in that, um, just so I won't feel like I'm out of my element and kind of get like shy away from it. And then I'll be like, you know, I'm not gonna do it versus just do it, you know? So I didn't get it on camera because we could not record. They would not let you have your camera or your phone, your phone had to be off or turn on silent. So you can't really, I got what I could. If you follow me on TikTok, then you kind of see a little bit of the BTS and the B-roll. Um, but I got what I could as far as what I can do with my camera because they was very, you know, strict about the cam. Pretty much the rundown of how it went is pretty much check in. But they gave me a number on my, like, it was like a form that you had to fill out with your information and stuff. And then you have a number at the top. And then um, one speaker spoke first, and then the director, I was just telling y'all that was a model as well, he spoke after him. So you just walk up, introduce yourself, name, age, and a fun fact about yourself. And then you pretty much just read off the script and do your audition. And that's what I did. Because after you do your first pre-audition, you get in line, they give you a paper, say, you know, whatever, if we choose you um, to make sure you answer, your, answer the phone call and um, went to the next person, which was the director, model, film, guy. So I waited in line and um, what did I, I was just like going over what is, I already knew what I wanted to do in my head from when I first saw the script. Um, because I've been saw the script uh, two days ago. I saw it, but it was a completely different, <clears throat> it was a completely different script from when I actually, when it was time for me to actually do it it was a it wasn't like the first script that i read that's in my email and that i screenshot it in my photos is a little bit more i could do a little bit more as far as like um gestures and stuff this one I, when i saw it i was like you know what i'm gonna walk in like kind of jog in walk in like you know it's, an, it's for nike so it gotta be in that sports type of vibe so i was like you know what, let me jog, let me kind of like jog in like walk jog in and like scratch a little bit as I'm talking, like kind of give them a visual of how I would be if I was act 
at the actual Nike commercial on set. So yeah, he loved it. He absolutely loved it. I, I, t I was about to redo it, but he told me that I was totally fine. So we're gonna see how that go. I'm waiting for a call back. They said they will be calling people no later than 10.30 tonight. So we'll see. And I, it's just something new. I'm trying to get myself out there, trying to be a little bit more networking and you know in 2023 then i have to be outside i have to go to these things i have to be uncomfortable i have to whatever i can't keep shying away and like doubting myself or not even thinking it could be me so that's just my little ted talk for all the inspiring models um i had a great time um both of the men were very nice very very um professional so yeah and we're pretty much gonna go from there i'm gonna keep y'all updated of course y'all gonna come with me y'all coming with me everywhere vlogging day in the life everything we're doing everything we're doing makeup we're doing everything O122 is coming um make sure y'all stay tuned make sure y'all follow me on my cosmetic page because she's about to take over and this is pretty much the end of this video i just wanted to give y'all inside scoop today just so that's like why not i mean i was going so i might as well get the footage might as well put the video out baby so I told myself, you know what, I'm gonna keep the hair out of my face so they can see. Um, Cause when I first went in, I was thinking more in the model aspect. So that's why, like I told y'all when I was getting ready this morning, I was like, you know what, I'm a model. So, you know, I want them to see the face structure and my hair in a bun so my face will be covered up. And I, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I wore tennis shoes. I'm glad I wore like a kind of like an active set cause it kind of went with the vibe of doing a commercial for Nike. So it was only Nike and Taco Bell. And of course I went with Nike cause who doesn't want to do a Nike commercial? Come on, come on, come on. Winnie who? Let me stop, I'm just kidding. I love Winnie Harlow. So yeah, let me go ahead and close this video out here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified every single time that I post, baby, okay? And I'll see y'all in my next video. Love y'all. Bye. Who cares to please you?